Yo, what's up? You got your boy Nandre here. Welcome to another video. So, today I'm going to be talking about the recent nerfs. So, if you don't already know, PDK, Ephemera, as well as Council of Card Knights, they all got nerfed. So, let's go, let's go and talk about each one. Alright, first one up is Ephemera. So, this one's pretty big. She she's gonna get a, a mana cost change. She's gonna go up up from four mana to five mana. She'll still keep the rest of her effects, but but she's gonna be now one mana more. So a lot of times people the they underestimate how how big mana cost changes are. Mana cost changes change everything. Just because like now in the future certain plays that certain plays and certain pairings that you'd like to go with a card they suddenly no longer work. A, a big example of this. Was that in her? It was in Hearthstone. The a while back, they 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 gave a mana cost nerf to that to that execution. Uh, execution there is a is a is a, well, it used to be a one mana spell that if your opponent had had an injured unit, just straight up just kill it. But uh, and and part of the issue was that like it was too good. Like it's just one of those like you you play in everything. Like, like you, you play in tempo, you play in control, you just everywhere. Well, pro probably not aggro, but you know, like mo most places. And so, like, we have Ephemera, like, at 5 mana, she now, she now has to contest with that of Albert. Well, yeah, without Albert, without a round table. Now, the round table, uh, contention is very, very big, because, like, before, you had to be very, very, very afraid that you would, uh, that they would play the Ephemera on 4, into the round table on 5, into, say, maybe, into maybe, say, Council of Card Knights on 6. But now you can't do that anymore. Like, you, you're going to have... You're going to have to have like weaker turns on like crit on like critical portions as aggro, and, and that's not and that's currently not not feasible right now. Uh, so another another big thing is that like for me, I thought I thought of let me find the card. I thought of I thought of Ephemera essentially being that of this card. <laughs> yeah, of that being Wing God. So Wing God, as you can see, very very similar effect, except Ephemera is way better. Except now that there's actually like like the X. Now there'll be like actual trade offs because Wing God will be a will be a four sorry will be a five mana will be a five mana four seven if you evolve it, and that's and that's that's very very big over over say that of the Ephemera who you know she gives you more long term value. Whereas, whereas the wind god just gives you gives you immediate value, so now this is actually a, a trade off. So let's go and talk about the next card. Council card knights. So for this one, again, I just you know I got mana cost nerf. So to be honest, like I, alright, so, so so I know a lot of people did not like the the mana cost nerf on the ephemera, yeah, because because there were like a few there were a few different alternatives that, that we could have had. You know, we could have had like say. She loses stuff at, at the end of the turn, or just that she has no stuff at all. Um, but but that wasn't that wasn't like really like the root cause of the problem. The root cause of the problem is that like she she, she exacerbates the, the the perceived the perceived issue of going first versus going second. If I go first and I and I for some reason have three creatures in play because you maybe are like playing like one twos and whatnot because there are a lot of one twos right now that, that you kind of want to play. Like for example, you, you kind of want to play dragon summoner <clears throat> you kind of want to play lux like there are a lot of there are a lot of one twos that you, that you have to let well, that, that that some decks have to play or whatever and if i can as aggro like keep keep you off the board and keep three creatures in play you're going you're going to you're going to feel it when i play that ephemera and i you know i, I played it for four creatures and then just you know you <laughs> you made a ton of damage but for council there, there's there's no like elegant there's no elegant solution for it just because I, I I don't think any of these tokens need to need to be like nerfed or whatever. I mean, like obviously, I do know that there are some people who disagree with me that they should be all one twos, but but part of the but part of the power of the card is that it's supposed to be a good mid range card. Mid range, mid range, like it excels off you know ha having just like good cards. Like, but I definitely but I definitely enjoy the mana cost nerf on this because now it means I have to contest with Alwitas, which which it kind of did already, sort of. But by now, kind of makes it. 
but that kind of makes makes it more obvious that, that yeah it has to, it has to it has to contest with Alita's. Like I still think the card might might see play just because like what it gives you is very is very very strong for what it does because it's still you know well it's now a six mana three nine that's a lot of stats that's a lot of stats a lot of different things you can you can do with it but yeah but, but with those stuff you know a, a well deserved nerf and as you can see here like <laughs> it's one of those cards I kind of knew was gonna get nerfed at some at some point in time. Alright, on to the last card. Prime Dragon Keeper. So again, this is this is another one that like everyone knew was gonna get nerfed because like like contrary to proper relief, it's not simple, that's the problem. It's it's a it's a prime dragon keeper. Like I, I know recently that there's like a lot of people saying that okay, well it's like civil or whatever because it because it means that, that anytime that, that dragon gets like a good legendary, it means the dragon's be, that it means the dragon's gonna be tier one. Right. Let me clarify something. Dragon is probably always tier two. Like so, dragons dragons always tier two just because like it does really have bad matchups, and even before civil, like it had some but not really that many bad matchups. But like, but but part of the issue is that like you can't really nerf civil unless unless you actually like, give dragon like meaningful cards like in the mid game uh, in exchange and that's something that's never happening but for pdk her her nerfs was that she she's gonna be she's gonna cost one more mana so now she's gonna be four mana this is the four mana thing is actually it's actually really really huge because now if you want a pdk on seven you will only get one proc on seven unless you have an ivory dragon in which case you know you'll get your two procs and it'll still also be like relatively the same but now that means that you're gonna you're gonna want a pdk on eight i don't i don't know how many times I've, I've been able to actually like pdk on like eight mana and have that you know like feel good or anything like that so so, so it'll definitely be be like worth 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 uh worth considering the other sh the other part of why that's big is because now it means that you can't just go pdk pdk ivory dragon or something like that because now that that will now cost nine mana and, and and additionally the pdk will not will not proc off of herself that was also another another big issue and then the other change is that her health went down to three hp base and as opposed to the five hp base so now when you when you evolve her she'll be at, she'll be at five hp which is her current hp as opposed to as opposed to the whopping seven hp so that change is also big as well because it means that now you ha you have to be able to, to to buff the hp on your pdk somehow now there are obviously options to do that, and with, with that a dragon tamer, which I'll kind of show you real quick. Which actually, which actually, which as you can see, synergizes with the deck, and then of course the PDK herself by just you know being able to pre-evolve it. But as you can see, with that seven mana. You're not, you're not, uh, like, unless your opponent, like, did something, uh, in, 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 order, in, order, in order for you to be in a spot where you can just, like, where you can just, like, pre-evolve the PDK and not feel bad, that means that your opponent either did something wrong, or it just happens to be a favorite matchup for you anyway, in which case, it'll, it'll, like, it'll just be, you know, it'll just be, you know, be, be like, more or less the same, the same as how it was. Man, it's, it's definitely a big change, just because, like I said, um, it, it limits how, how, how much just like gross stuff you can do with it and that's always very very important like for example in the past you, you used to be able to do like again the obvious the obvious stuff mana play pdk get two units blow up the board now it now, one thing that people don't talk about but it's actually very, very important is that like you wanted to get those two pdk activations off on that same turn because if you got the two pdks that that means that, that means that, that like that for the most part because you're usually ahead by by one or two mana that there's almost no board state in the game that your opponent that your opponent could have made on like say on like say that like four or five mana that would prevent you from nuking their board ha ha having, having the having the seven mana pdk in play and just telling your opponent okay try to make a board try to erase me but you can't like and, and that's very very big and, and i think a lot of people are just like kind of like understating it now Obviously, I know a lot of people also feel that these nerfs were very, very harsh, but, you know, I... But, you know, for me, like, it's one of those... PDK is kind of, it's kind of like one of those, like, kind of, like, slippery slope kind of boss monsters and that. Like, she did need to get changed, uh, that much we know 100%. But, but obviously... But obviously, there were, like, very, there were very, yeah, there were varying layers to, to how she could have gotten changed. Like, for example... I know my girl Gumi. She said that th that she felt it was very, very strange that, that PDK 
always got face damage or honest activations as opposed to how as opposed to how cards uh in, uh yeah, sorry, as opposed to how cards of similar function work in which that of it deals damage to the unit for it deals damage to units first and then and only then if your opponent doesn't have a unit units in play it doesn't deal damage to the opponent to the opponent's face now that now that change would have been pretty good as well like if you know if you just maybe say change it to four but let it keep the hp but, but then also change it to so that way he doesn't deal face damage anymore well sorry so that change it so that way he doesn't deal face damage unless your opponent has no creatures in play that also would have been very very good because because like i said like the if you could still you know play out the pdk or whatever and then get that face damage in the pdk will, will effectively done will effectively done his job just you know to just work as like say that of breath of Sabinder four five and six and just you know push push that push the additional face damage that you need as well as buy you the time buy you the space in order, in order to be able to like slam down your forte slam down your genesis and whatnot and just you know go into town on your opponent like so so i definitely think that that contrary to, to the popular belief that that pdk is dead i do not think it's dead just because there's there's no world in, in which dragon just in which dragon just like straight just like Stop getting early game creatures printed. In. Uh, sorry, sorry stop, stop getting early game creatures printed. I'm sorry about that. And, and so, as a result, like it's one of those like it can't be bad by by virtue of doing that. Now, I, know, I know that you know a lot of people. A lot of people might argue that's a stretch, but this is this is the same logic that I used with Mid Shadow. And as you, and as we see and as we see now, even though people said that Mid Shadow was dead, like Mid Shadow is still tier one. It's still it's still a very very good deck. But yeah, uh, I know. I also know a lot of people wanted to know my personal opinions on the. On, on how I felt about uh, on how I felt about playing PDK as a whole, um, for me I still wow I didn't okay yeah no for me I still actually like playing the deck. I did not really I did not really you know enjoy the mirrors that much, but but, but then again like most people don't enjoy mirrors, which is, which is you know that's fine it's like that one, but that's also because I also know that the, I, that I didn't put that I did not put nearly enough time to try, like understand the mirror as 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 uh, as fully as I should have. Just because, you know, I haven't really been, like, playing this month. <laughs> but the deck, you know, it's, it's still fun. It's still, it's still probably a good deck. And I'll probably, you know, working with it probably tomorrow. Or right after these nerfs happen. But, like, it, I believe it's still, like, an hour before before the nerf starts. Or, sorry, before the nerf patch goes into effect. But, yeah. Like, overall, these nerfs were pretty good. Like... I mean, yeah, they're a little bit, you know, heavy-handed. Like, and in the case, of, in the case of the ephemera, it's a little bit, you know, slightly inelegant because it 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 it, 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 it turned it turned a card that, uh, that could have had, you know, a lot of utility and just like you know, kind of kind of crapped on it. Like, it kind of made it not as, not nearly as good. Just because the your turn five is it's very very important. Like, it's actually it's actually one of the most important turns in the game. The reason why is because like this is when all the this is when all like the mid game fatties come out. Like this is when like say stuff like say stuff like Scarlet, yeah, say stuff like Scarlet gets uh, gets dropped on the board. Say stuff like say st uh, stuff like Sybil, stuff like Albert. Like and I don't think you want to pair you want to pair up me playing me playing my Sybil or something like that to just you playing a dinky one three that does that is just like it's just like you're a setup enabler, but you can't actually like do anything because because you're gonna have to spend your, your next turn catching back up. Like it was easier to, to catch up on your turn four than it is on your turn five, and that's and that's you know obviously a, a very very big thing. Now I don't know per se what will be what will be like the next like quote unquote cancer cancer deck <laughs> or anything like that. They're just you know um, what will be like the next very very good deck. But there but there are a lot of different contenders for for what could for what could and will be good going going into going into November. Like for example, Ram Dragon probably still good. Dirt Rune still good. Aggro Blood maybe. <laughs> Midrange Sword yeah. D ship. Yeah, Nep. Yeah, Midrange Shadow. Yep. <laughs> like Forest variants. Yep. Like a lot of different things that you, that you can play. So, so it'll be very, very interesting to see what happens now because because there are a lot of like very, very un, un, undiscovered and unexplored cards in this set, and I'm looking forward to, to you know being able to play more of them and being able to just you know uh, see see where we go from here. Like because obviously the the having card draw in this game was was something that was very, very that was very you know. In high demand and very, and very, very needed. So, so definitely, be, so definitely be interesting to see 
how it is that we as a community feel feel about feel about this set like two months well two months or so from now when, when the next set gets printed but yeah if you enjoyed the video go and leave a like go and hit the subscribe button if you have it thank you guys for watching let me know your thoughts on the nerfs down in the comments below do you like them do you hate them like what what do you guys feel you know let me know thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you